Hi everyone, we are on lesson 11.5 and that is on page 435 in your colored math books. We're trying to figure out unknown angle measures today. The question asks, how can you use the strategy draw a diagram to solve angle measurement problems? To solve angle measurement problems. All right, let's get started. Mr. Trayon is cutting a piece of kitchen tile as shown at the right, right here. There's the tile. He needs tile, tiles with 45 degree angles to make a design. After the cut, what is the angle measure of the part left over? Can Mr. Trayon use both pieces in the design? Okay, so we have a couple questions. What is the angle measure of the part left over? And can Mr. Tran use both pieces in the, uh, in the design? So we know the angle is going to be 45. What do I need to find out? I need to find out the um, angle measure of the leftover part. So that's what you need to find out right there. So this... can go right here. All right, next thing I need to find out is what information do I need to use? What information do I need to use? I can use the measures of the angles I know. So what angle do you know? I know that angle and I know this angle right here because right there shows me the total angle is what? Is 90. I know that that little box right there represents 90. All right. So I know two things. I know this part is 45 and I know the whole thing is 90. So that's what you should write down right here. C, B, D is 45, and A, B, C is 90. How will I use the information? What can, I can draw a bar model and use the information to solve, um, or to find the unknown angle measures. So I can use a bar model to, um, and use the information to find the unknown angle measures. Okay, before you even do the bar model, I want you to pause the video right here and see if you can find, figure this problem out on your own. Pause it right here and see if you can figure out the answer on your own. Okay, I hope you just paused and I hope you figured it out. Figured something out, right or wrong, it doesn't matter. Let's just see what you got, if you got what I, what they're gonna tell you to do here. Okay, I can draw a bar model to represent the problem. Then I can write an equation to solve the problem. Just stick with me on this bar model and see if you understand it. So, 45 and 90. Let's go back and look at the problem. 45. I'm sorry, 90. I know that this whole thing right here equaled 90. So that's where I get the 90. The whole thing equals 90. Oops, I'm sorry, wrong way. This part right here is the part I know, which is 45. This part right here, let's use a different color. I don't know, that's why the X is there. So I don't know. So let's think what I have to do. If I know the whole thing is 90, I know that I have 45 and I have to get this, what would I have to do? I would have to Think that angle
ABD plus angle CBD equals ABC. Let me see for a second if it's on this right here. I don't know if the drawing is on there. No. Let's go back. So what they're seeing is I know that ABD plus angle DBC have to equal ABC. So all they're saying is this angle, the pink angle, plus the orange angle have to equal the green angle, right? Because it all has to equal that green angle. This plus this has to equal the whole thing. Remember in the last lesson when you guys did the construction paper and you cut it down the center? It had to equal the total angle. That's what they're doing. This is a piece of tile and they're cutting it and it has to equal the whole piece of tile again. So let's start. So I know that x plus what? 45 has to equal, ugh, I don't know why my marker is flowing today. 90. So what does x have to equal? What does that one pink angle have to equal? Has to equal 45 because I know 45 plus 45 equals 90. I should put my degrees. 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 45. Degrees. All right, let's go back. So 45 plus 45 has to equal 90, right? So after the cut, what is the angle measure of the part left over? It is 45 degrees. We know that this right here is 45 degrees. Can Mr. Tran use both pieces in his design? Can he use both pieces? Well, he needs tiles with 45 degree angles. Does this have a 45 degree angle? Absolutely. So the answer is yes, he can. Since both tiles measure 45 degrees, Mr. Tran can use both pieces of tile. Fabulous. If this bar model kind of confuses you, just think about this way, guys. This plus this has to equal the whole thing, just like when we cut the construction paper the day before. All right, next one. So, Marcel is building a frame for a sandbox. Put the boards she Put the boards she has put, I'm sorry, let me, but the boards she has are too short. She must join two boards together to build a side as shown. At what angle did she cut the first board? So here's the board right here. What do I need to find out? I need to find out what this angle is right here, HJL. I need to find out what HJL is. I need to find out the measure of angle HJL. What information do, do I need to use? Well, I know that this is 55 degrees right here, and this is a, what is that, a straight line, correct? So I know that that is HJ, um, HJK is 180 degrees. And I know that LJK is 55 degrees, so you can write that right there. How will I use the information? What am I going to do? Well, I know 55 plus X must equal 
180 degrees. 55 plus X must equal 180 degrees. Or X. So what is my answer? So my answer is... Thought they were gonna have the board thing there. I forgot they didn't. Um, so my answer is figure it out, guys. One hundred and twenty-five. So H J L measures one twenty-five degrees. Because 125 and 55 equal 180. And that's what the straight line is. All right, let's go back to the beginning. How can you use the strategy draw a diagram to solve angle, to solve angle measurement problems? So we looked at this diagram here, and then we drew a bar model here. And then we looked at this one here, and we filled it in, and that's how we solved our problem. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye, everyone.